Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 59. And I haven't looked at it, but this will be kind of an important announcement. So if you're zoning out a little bit, pay attention. I'm going to start posting very soon, not in this episode, but very soon, a uh, two things. Um, first, a straw poll for who I should play as for my next series. And after that, the new ship name list so that people who have dedicatedly, if that's a word, made it this long in the series will have their first choice um, as for a ship name in the upcoming series. And unfortunately, I, I do want to do this same thing that I've been doing. Let's see. Um, it's right here. I think I can just drag this over directly. This is the Germany name file. Um, so this is what I've been doing is just replacing this file with your suggestions. And then what I try to do is after they go in, I cut and paste them to the very bottom of the list because the top names get priority. So I will replace the Germany ship name file with the original when we're done with this series. However, what this means is, okay, well, I guess I can just show you directly. There's no distinguishing between battleship, battle cruiser, and um, pre-war battleship. There's no distinguishing, I should say, between dreadnought and battlecruiser, I'm uh, sorry, Dreadnought and Battleship. Um, basically the old pre-war like two turret designs, the original ones. So I'm going to eliminate that as a category because <laughs> actually I want to do a fire and forget type solution for the Germany name series. I mean, for the next name series um, where I can just load them all in and maybe return to it around episode 15, which is probably around the time when we will start using any of the names um, and I don't know, or maybe I'll have to write a script or something. That's what I could do. I could write a script which just sees which ships have already been in the game and then moves those ships to the very end of this list. It'll be a complicated thing to do once, but then after it's done once, it'll just manage my ship names. I don't know. I'll think about what I want to do exactly. But, um, point is this series is going to come to a close probably before 1950 even. And the reason why is that patch 1.06 has been released. And as I didn't even read the patch notes yet, but I already saw a suggestion, I think it was Oak Trees, who said that um, they recommend a game restart to take advantage of the error changes. So that means I feel like we've gotten a lot of mileage out of this series already. We've done pretty well. We've discovered a lot of cool things. I do want to take it through at least one more war. But um, there's a lot of things like rockets, the... Um, Missiles, missile launchers and all that stuff is not implemented yet. Um, I might take, I usually do take like a week break. I might on the new series, okay, we need to start getting going on this episode, I know, but um, in the new series, I might delay the releasing of episodes to be every other day. It might be like every day for the first 10 episodes and then every other day after that. Um, because I want my channel to eventually have other content on it. <laughs> I mean, Rule of Waves is number one. I, I'm just constantly surprised that nobody else plays Rule the Waves as much as I do on the channel. I mean, there's definitely a, a growth of people. Um, Battle Group Gamer, I was the first person I can name who does a lot of good Rule the Waves content. Um, but I... Uh, yeah, I'm just, I was just surprised that there's not like a lot of bigger channels. I think I am the biggest channel which does series on this. And the reason, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. I'm I'm sure the reason I'm this big is because uh, not many other people were doing World Waves content. So now um, I've read some more things about this Alaska battle cruiser, and according to Katori, so we can all point fingers and blame him, it is a little bit over maintenance, over pricey for what it accomplishes as this raider thing. Because that's what a lot of people are talking about. We want should we have this battle cruiser raider um, for trade protection that's going to counter a lot of these heavy cruisers. I'm still going to go with no. Well, let's not use them at all. Okay, there's the 50 whatever. Great Britain has approached so ooh, curb our naval program. Now this is interesting because I, I finally understand these references a little bit more. This would have been a reference literally Great Britain. I mean not literally. Yes, literally, but wrong use of that word. Um, historically, this was Great Britain asking Germany, us, <laughs> to curb the dreadnought building program. Um, they wanted, I think it was Churchill who was proposing a year holiday, a shipbuilding holiday. 
Um, we would rather go to war than agree to naval limitations. That seems to be pretty much my sentiments. Admiral Torturpitz is carrying around, remember this, kind of... <gasps> he carries around this antagonism, this old hate-filled story about how Great Britain stole away his first greatest victory. Probably not the greatest even in that this series has seen, but I'm looking at this right now. It doesn't look like a lot of ships will be scrapped, but I would love a disarmament conference. Unfortunately, this is probably going to reduce the budget. Okay, 621. Improve Bulbous Bow, okay. No, it didn't. I, it didn't actually say anything about decreasing the budget, so that is the only way you can ping for an international disarmament treaty without negatively affecting your budget, yeah, which is great to see. Oh, that would have been so awesome, though, because right now we don't have any ships being built, any bigger ships being built. It would have given us an opportunity to actually refit these to be... Oh, that would have been so fun. We could have refit our Owen Zolorns to be actual raiders, <laughs> trade protection raiders, uh, or raider protectors. Because we can't modify the guns, so they would have had, they would have been stuck, unfortunately, with their turret configuration, which is abysmal. But we would we would have actually we would have been able to give them oil firing fast engines, and we would have bulged them on top of that. Probably, I think the best thing would have been to do a two-step improvement. I'm not sure how it works. Can we bulge them and then increase the engines? I don't know, because they would need trade protection. I mean, uh, torpedo defense if we're gonna sink more money into them. But it didn't end up be, did not end up being the case. So our slickings are getting radar before. I think we can actually just give them radar. Is everything up? Yeah, everything up here we want is given radar. So let's give these all radar. Um, yeah, available sets. Okay, good. Wait, what? I think they'll have it next turn. Oh, I see. It's happening one by one. So we just do it like this. I see. Okay, so we do it one at a time. Well, that's a little bit annoying, but here we go. <laughs> oh, they're actually being put away. Ships under construction, are they just for one month or something? Um, I'm a little bit worried they're actually... Wait, no, they're back. I thought they were disappearing. What the hell is going on? They are disappearing. But they're back as soon as I... Look there. They are. Okay. I was very scared. But <laughs> fear not. Doesn't matter. It takes one month for those to be refit. That's fine. Um, and then those will all have radar. So that's good because I'd prefer those over the shiftings first. And from here on in, everyone who matters has radar. So good budget. <clears throat> Definitely can't afford to do um, some kind of... Oh, man. Just, just in time. Okay, this is the improved Falk Wolf 225 torpedo bomber. Old as, I think this is the really old one, isn't it? Two 1,000 pound bombs, that's pretty good. Where does the 225E fit in? Let's take a look. Um... I think it now is actually better than the other one. It's faster, it's less maneuverable, but tougher, but lower. Yeah, I guess that they're about even now. I would give the edge even probably to the Henschel because she has good reliability and she has more maneuverability, still good toughness, but way better firepower and about equivalent in terms of range because unless you're doing scouting like really long, I mean, not even 400 versus 360, I don't think we'll ever be trying to search that far. This only matters if we're trying to use these as um, carrier, or sorry, land-based um, torpedo bombers. Then this matters, the range, but 
If we're using the medium bombers to do our torpedo missions, then uh, it really doesn't matter what the torpedo bomber range is, because even 200 is more than I expect we'll need for the combats. Okay, so that done. We still need something, don't we? So the Glukstads are under refit, the Kefhausers, the new Kefhauser, which I'm very happy with. Apparently we could have reduced the um, cost of this pretty significantly still if we had just reduced the number of guns and I can't remember what other stuff Katori or Gaskin was saying that we could do. I think armor was, does not really add too much to maintenance. So maybe we could have taken down some of these guns. And what was the other thing? I don't know if Central Rainfinder, that doesn't seem to add too much, but it probably increased the maintenance a bit. And the speed could have gone to 16. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are small enough that, I mean, these are, I should say not small enough. These are big enough at 1500 that the engine weight does change per knot. So we really did not need, did not <laughs> need to put it up to 19 knots, but that's fine. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's a not, it's not ideal. It's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty darn good. Uh, now we have to upgrade things, but oh, we have time. I might as well just let the game decide what to do for me. 69. Okay. Wow. Um, Japan, who, yeah, I would still like to go to war with. An honorable war. This wouldn't be an angry one, as it would be mostly against the Italians. I think that they have just shown themselves totally lacking in honor. Not that, not that the German Navy really has to uphold some, it's like honor bound or anything like that, but we will issue an ultimatum. Ha, ah, good. Effective camouflage schemes reduces enemy sighting chance, sighting range, and hit chance. That's pretty cool. Although I guess with radar, that won't matter much. Radar doesn't seem to care what your paint scheme is. Hmm, what next? What's currently being built? The Kiffhausers, the Bockenheims are being refit. Those will be finished. Brought first, those being finished, okay. We gotta get all these guys back to reserve, which should boost our, wow. That went up by 10,000. I forgot that we had so many of these ships, like all of these ships, which I may actually put back on active. I mean, that's too much money to save. No, we're not gonna put them on active. It's so funny that even on half cost, the fire foyer drakers are <laughs> about the same cost as the Hohen Solorns. <laughs> I mean, even the Sternbringers cost less. It's quite remarkable. Five more months before these docks finish, I may actually entertain one final battleship class at that point. Improved. Okay, good. We do need that anti-aircraft stuff. That's a, a very big concern at this point. We definitely have the money to do something. So while we're waiting for the docks to finish for another four months, how many submarines do we have? 126, that's quite a number. Let's take a look at the Almanac. How are people doing in terms of submarines? We are not as quite as many as the United States who have gone very submarine heavy after losing all their ships. And really the only other nation besides the US and us who have embraced carriers is Great Britain, and they have embraced them in a way which is actually even more than us. Which I think makes sense, frankly, because they have more sea zones to protect. My strategy right now is to put two carriers together in two different sea zones, and then the uh, GZ, Graf Zeppelin, over to Southeast Asia. That's my expectation uh, for our carrier deployment, as of right now at least. We do have a little bit of extra money though. I wonder if we could just go absolutely crazy on the submarines. It should impact Great Britain, right? <laughs> they should be vulnerable to it, historically at least. Maybe I'll build like 20 more. It will, it's just barely gonna impact our budget. Just gonna slow it down a little. It just adds a little bit of brakes so that we don't get too high. So I think just 
pretending at least that half the yearly budget is the limit where you might get an event reducing your budget if you have too much money left over. 300,000, we can go for another 100,000, so be fine. That's, oh, you know, like eight, nine months. So quite a ways. And we don't have to worry about oil because we actually have oil now that we have Venezuela. <laughs> That's awesome. I probably ought to build one more battery. Like a place with oil is probably worth getting even like a 10 inch battery. Because protecting her is a high priority. Um, if we go to war against the British, it's going to be an absolute mess. We have uh, almost as many sea zones, perhaps as many sea zones, period, as they do. They don't have the Falklands. I think we actually have more. So they have two that we don't. We have one... Two that they don't. Huh. Yeah, we have as many sea zones. What's the budget say? They have much... Goodness gracious, where did their budget kick in from? Holy cow. Holy schmoly. Where did they get this big... Now, I mean, historically, it makes sense, but... Uh, this is nowhere near a historical timeline. After 40 years since the game began, we're so far f different. I mean, we're just so different than the way things went historically. At this point, Germany really would need to commit a serious... I mean, look at... We have as many more, I think, colonies than the British. There's no way that the Germans, especially if it was the Kaiser Licha 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 Marine, if we were really still kind of under the Kaiser somehow, I mean, it wouldn't be the same Kaiser. Wilhelm is long, Wilhelm II, I should say, is long dead by now, I'm sure, but um, he was such a pro-Navy guy that leading up to this point where at whatever point he passed on and his successor arose in his place, I feel like up to that point, the Navy would have been hugely increasing if we actually challenged the British on the seas. And with this colonial empire, which we've developed, okay, well, we're not really hitting the end turn button enough. So let's just keep doing that. <laughs> Increase submarine effectiveness, which is good. That means it's not reliability. So it just increases their effectiveness. Kind of inspires me to build another bunch of 10. So hopefully we will bring down the British just by, or I mean, it could be the Japanese, whoever we go after. This is probably gonna be, as I already mentioned, the last submarine war for us. Advanced preheater, better torpedoes. Hmm. Where are these new float plane models? Have we really not gone six months yet? So we have two fighters, we have two torpedo bombers, and everything else is the same. Okay, good. 156 and 740. Wow. Wow. 156, 740, 214, 690. Oh, my God. I'm, there's no way I'm going to remember these numbers. Ah, uh, I, I lost them entirely. We'll look at ours, and I'll just let people in the comments tell me how we're doing. <laughs> okay, Um. wow. Wow. So maybe I do need a prioritize range. And this one, I remember prioritizing speed. Which, how did this end up being almost as, actually slower in terms of cruise speed? That's just silly. So this flow plane scout model thing was just a total, total disaster, I would say. We asked for speed and reliability. Okay, so we should at least have good reliability, but... What is going on? I don't understand. These are basically worse. The only one we can even consider is the top one. No, it's way slower. We actually can't choose any of these. This is actually still the best one. How is that possible? This is from, this is five years old. 
Maybe we just got a really, really bad roll of the dice, but these are not fast. I mean, the cruise speed is actually faster, and I actually only care about the cruise speed if it's the scout, since they only use their max speed in combat. The cruise speed is what they use on the map, the tactical map. So, yep, I'm just going to scrub all those designs. And instead, since apparently float plane scouts are not something the, the Germans want to develop, we'll get them to see what kind of dive bombers they can implement. Um, let's see, what's our current dive bomber? It's going to be very, very fast no matter what. Second priority reliability first bomb load? I think that makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And one more month before we get our dock size. Okay. Well, 62,000 is just huge. Small compared to the lay of the land, though. <laughs> um, horsepower negative, what? They want us to build... Uh, this is so funny. How do they know that that's actually the exact... They apparently read my mind. One of the things I was cons really strongly considering was a um, dual quad this should be forward gun forward gun only configuration so we're at 43994 yep so 43 we're actually overweight if we remove the four so basically the all forward gun thing was really helping us out there. I may even do it. I really like this idea. And it was going to be with quadruples that I was going to go with as well. So what I was thinking about is this is not um, exactly... This is... <laughs> what What is the point of this ship? It's going to be kind of like another Blucher. But it's going to be fast enough, believe it or not, to keep up with our carriers. Which at this point is only 20... Five? 24. But I want them to be fast enough to keep up with the next carrier. So they are going to be fast battleships. We'll make them 29, let's say. I want them to be very heavily armored. Five inch deck. Conning tower, who gives a crap. Turret 15, turret tops. This is amazing. And we'll go with two for secondaries. We're going to do a lot of double pur uh, dual purpose guns. We're not going to use tertiaries. And then we still have, oh, wow, we're perfect. Oh, we want torpedo protection four, absolutely. How did this work out so perfectly? I like those numbers, I really do. I just think we're gonna build this. <laughs> I think this is the new ship design. Oh, we have not invented aircraft catapults still? <laughs> huh. That means they have to come to a stop to launch their... No, we are not going to do that then. Which is going to save us even more weight. I want my cruisers. The light cruisers have always been what I imagine would have the, uh, air, the scouts. Although if it's caught in a battle by itself without carriers... It would be nice. No, actually, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. I think we'd rather save the... I just don't see a good reason. Again, I've talked about this several times. I just have a hard time imagining how float plane scouts are going to do a better job than even the torpedo bombers on the carrier. They're pretty expendable just to be used on a scouting mission. Let's say you use... What is it in the battle of... Um, the battle near Iceland that I used? Uh, I mean, that I fought... I used like eight torpedo bombers to fully scout and that was sufficient so we're down eight di uh, torpedo bombers on a plane with a hundred total planes it's less than 10 percent of our you know I, I mean you can think of it this way it's like 30 percent of our torpedo bombers to scout 
and we still have all of our fighters and all of our dive bombers available. So I think that that's okay. Let me see if she is correctly defending against herself. No. 13.5 for belt, maybe? Let's go down to 16 and see what she would defend against then. I think we'll armor against... Yeah, what's going on? There it is. So we'll only get to 18,000. And this is against 16 inch guns. So basically it's impossible to defend against stuff at this point. I'm probably okay to go to 13.5. We do have a lot of weight remaining. And weight, uh, armor weight is not very high on, exp on, is not very expensive from a maintenance standpoint. I could make it 14. I mean, these are fast, so we will have the ability. I can even go up, that's really expensive, to 30. I mean, turret of 15 is just crazy. Go to turret of 16 inches of armor. <laughs> Nothing will ever penetrate me. But I mean, they're quadruples, so I'm actually gonna do that because we don't want to ever lose one. If we lose one, we lose half of our firepower. Oh, that's why we had so much weight remaining. Because I was not at the correct thing. Wow, okay, so let's go down so I can get a little bit more ammunition. 105 is fine, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can adjust the displacement. Obviously I'm sitting here, I'm not building the super uber end game battleship. This is something I'm actually planning to flood the ranks with. Noting that the end game battle crew, I mean the end game, that it is towards the end game. What I'm trying to say is battleships are kind of on their way out, which is why I'm gearing this to somewhat have an anti-aircraft roll. And 29 knots, I think that's gonna be fast enough to even escort carriers, even if they're 31 knots or 30 knots. I think 30 knots should be fine for carriers. Kind of doing uh, some math in my head. I kind of want to save this as temp for now. We can redesign it later. So let's actually go and see what a what a carrier would be. Yeah, it already got that. And any more, and we would, I think, get the penalty. I pretty much know this, but there it is, yeah. So I think we overbuilt our size on the... <laughs> oh, it's the Clausewitz class. It's not actually going to be the class name. Let me go over to my list I have here. Closets will be one of the names, I suppose. Should be, at least. So we'll go up to 23,000 on her, just to make sure that we can use as much anti-aircraft stuff as possible. Yeah, 30 knots. We built her to be 30 knots. I didn't even do inclined belt on that last one. So we'll take the belt down for sure. How many aircraft are they giving us? Yeah, this is not gonna happen. We'll probably increase this bunch. We'll be getting, uh, we'll be getting 99. Or 100, let's say 100, put these things on, and let's see how much tonnage we need to get that. I will be willing to go up to 30,000 even. So we're having problems getting that, but let's take the deck down to 2.5, conning tower down to three. I just want 2.5 for the turrets. I can hear Katori or Gaskin complaining about that, but I just find it necessary. Speed down to 29 to match the battleships. So we're, we're kind of matching, um, it's kind of cool. We're matching speeds across the fleet now. Escorts will still be uh, still be faster, but go up to 16 here, 141. So everything is okay now in, in terms of, well, we need more ammunition, probably 150. That feels okay to me. So now what has to give? Well, a thousand is just too much for us to get. Wow. If we drop it down, okay, this is, let's call that 700. 
1100 that's only 400 we get 450 back so not that much okay so I think 29 is still more or less the sweet spot if I'm being honest so 32,000 we can actually make this work we can make it work I don't think, by the way, that I'm going to be going with flight deck armor or hangar side armor. Apparently, you just need so much flight deck armor to make bombs not penetrate and do damage that, although it would be nice, I mean, we're talking like five inches people are reporting, some ridiculous numbers. Yeah, I mean, this is really expensive to get even a little bit. One is costing, I mean, this is insane, so we will definitely not be doing that, but we'll be getting the, eh, you know what, I'll just stick with the two inches of deck. Nah, 2.5, I guess. At least make them use their um, armor-piercing bombs on us. 2.5-inch uh, top turret is because there's a report somewhere from World of Waves 1 that turret top is slightly less than the value it says. I think I remember seeing that somewhere, so... And I kind of would like 2.5 belt. I don't know why, it's just... Same, probably the same reason. Okay, let's go with two on the deck. It's fine. Um. Oh my God! Almost didn't do dual purpose guns for the five inch. That would have been a mistake. Yeah, so 29 is going to be the speed of these carriers, which means that 29 is perfectly fine for our battleships as well. And I don't think I'm going to actually, you know, hit click, hit build this. I'll probably just dis just scrap this idea altogether. I won't even save it. So we call it, we, I could call it temp CV if I wanted. It looks about right to me. Oh, okay. I guess with a little bit of extra, we got that. Um, yeah, we have a little bit of room here. One and one, I guess. Looks good. Oh, we don't have enough AA directors. Yeah, very solid, very solid design. 100 airplanes. Everything looks good now. We still have 200 weight remaining. If I drop, what the hell happened? What happened? I don't know why I'm so um, unobservant. What did I do that this just dropped? Okay, we'll do this. Did I accidentally bump that up? Maybe I did it by accident. Uh, I probably just did it by accident. Okay, that's fine. 1734. It's good. It looks like the computer's basically telling me Two to one ratio, medium to light is a good ratio. Our medium and, a and heavy A are getting better and better over time, so I think I'm gonna start prioritizing that. Hopefully we see something a little more effective. Though I think there's been a general complaint about AA not being very effective overall, which means probably the best thing to do is build or employ more fighters on cap. But we need good fighters to do that. Okay, so anyways, I will save this as temp CV. Because I don't think we want a carrier right now. I think what I want to build first is this last, the last of the Mohicans. It's the last of the, we'll probably will build one more battleship in the end, but just for fun, build like the, you know, 18 inch gun or I should say 20 inch gun behemoth. So this one, I'm actually going to call the, Shield Crota Draca, which I'm led to believe is Tortoise Dragon. So we had the Foyer Draca, and now we have the Turtle Dragon. <laughs> and this is going to be my, I like to leave my stamp on, oh, actually, I think that might not be what this should be. You know, I'm going to leave it as temp because what, I mean, this episode is just dragged on and on and on. I'm going to leave it as temp for now. I won't give it a name until, that might not be the name that the class should take. That might be the name that the end game battleship, which, you know, 70,000 tons, huge guns, stupid stuff. That might be the one it takes. But I am pretty happy about that design. 
I'm also really happy that we didn't, I didn't commit to building that right now because I always like to give people a little bit of time for feedback. I don't think that the design we just looked at, that 44,000 ton one, would be um, too maintenance intensive, which would be good. Now we still have this money issue, <laughs> the good kind of money issue, the one where we want to start building something. And I think that finally I can kind of resign myself to building our final... I don't know, maybe our final light cruiser. And for those of you who speak German, this will probably give give away what we're gonna end up building. Uh, this is Stachel Schwein, which stands for porcupine. So this is supposed to be a very strong anti-aircraft force. And unfortunately, I think that means it has to be five inch guns. So we're gonna go with a just crap ton of five inch guns. This is essentially the Atlanta. Okay, so this many five inch guns is still obviously gonna decimate any destroyers and I think it could still be very effective against some of the enemy um, cruiser designs. It has six centerline stuff, which it doesn't currently have space for. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll reduce this stuff because, yeah, we don't need it to defend itself as well as it really ought to just be defending the fleet. And because of that, since Light AA doesn't supposedly does not, I might do this though instead. Supposedly Light AA has less of a chance of destroying enemy aircraft, but I'm gonna rely on the five inch guns to do that anyway. 2.5, 2.5, actually this is perfect except for this should be 2.5 as well. Um, speed of 31, we, the only thing we're missing is more torpedoes. So I'm gonna allow this to do torpedo stuff as well. Oops, that wrong way exactly. There we go. So I do want it to have torpedo tubes. I may even go to a bigger size. Oh, no, we can drop this and that's where our extra torpedoes will come from. Okay, we need to drop the rear ones by one. Should be enough. Perfect. And then we'll just up gun a little bit. 150, that should be okay. I kind of want a little bit. Oh, we got, see, this number is changing all the time. Oh, probably because of the torpedo tubes. Oh, no, no, the secondary guns, we dropped them off and that gave us a little bit of extra space as well. Okay, so we might need to go up to 9,100 again. Yeah, we'll go up to 9,100. And, because I'm gonna need that extra size for, I think getting everything I want here. Okay, whoops. So we go like this and, oh, she has mines and we can give her more or less mines. I think that that's a good idea actually. More ammunition first. Let's give her 160. Five inch guns are gonna be firing off pretty fast. How's she looking right now? All is okay, still good. Torpedo protection of one is still really expensive, really expensive. I've never given a light cruiser torpedo defense before. I'm not about to start now. No, that's not true. I think that this is maybe a good suggestion that we do it. Let's find out how much. Okay. No, I think I can go up to 9,200. I don't know how much more I can go up. And that's still so prohibitive. We, I don't even know how we would do it. Take the deck down to two, I guess. Okay, now we can get torpedo protection. For, wow, okay, for half an inch of deck, I think it is worth it. Let's look at gun data. So against, let's, let's arm against six inch guns since that's what she's gonna be fighting. And she's still good for deck. Basically deck is not gonna be a problem, so two is fine. Okay, good, so that, I'm actually pretty happy about this. That means torpedo defection, uh, defense of two is fine, we can do that. <laughs> this is crazy, I never thought I would do that on a cruiser, but it's so cheap to get two. Why not, right? Three and two is good. Maybe even want more than that. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Let's do incline belt, because two inches of deck armor is pretty good already. Um, do we need more speed? Let's do all or nothing, which gives us even more 
can probably drop this down back down to 91. And I think, huh, can't quite finagle the numbers I want here. Actually, I'll probably need to drop them back down because I might as well go with massive amounts of torpedoes. Why is this changing? Okay, it's the staying the same. I'm I think eleven and eleven is fine. Um I just like everything about this thing. Where how do we still have so much weight remaining? Which no not a problem, but <laughs> where did it come from? Oh right, all or nothing, of course. Thirty one is already fine. I'm trying to anticipate all the different comments I might be getting. <laughs> so let's try to do that. Mines. We want 90 mines on this thing. That's not going to happen, sorry. But maybe mine sweeping gear? She can actually do it? So ASW is not effective with, is reduced, but mine sweeping? What? No, I don't want to do it because it's just not the role of this ship. Unfortunately, when we reduce this, we reduce the AA effectiveness. So 8,900 is the lowest we can go to get what we want. And that leaves us with 90 possible mines. <laughs> oh, man, that's a lot of mines. 59 is a little bit better. And I don't even want pff, conning tower armor. Pff, three is fine. Well, I guess we'll go to four because that's still going to be a ton of mines. What am I missing? Oh, of course. Okay, there we go. Now we know where the extra tonnage should go. So let's bump this back up, 9,100. I think we can find a way to get two airplanes still. Wow, okay, we still have a six torpedo broadside. We have torpedo reloads. Holy cow, when it hit the magic number. And it will have seaplanes. <laughs> we still don't have, why the hell do we not have seaplane catapults? Is my game bugged? Anyway, there it is. There's the Atlanta. She has two aircraft, which she can recover. Oh man, I'm really happy we built this thing. And it'll be the last thing we do in this episode too. So we really didn't do very much. Yeah, I know that she will have to stop to launch aircraft. I'd almost like to build into her an ability. I guess when we get catapults, we'll just toss away one of the torpedo tubes in order to get catapults back here. Because I really would like to not have to you know, slow down. We still, I mean, we still have to slow down to 10, I think, to recover them. No, 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 it's, what does it say? To launch, yeah, we have to stop to launch, but I think you have to slow down only to 10 to recover, but you don't have to stop or, or slow down to launch, which would be very valuable. Huh, all right, all right, all right. We should only be launching and recovering once, right? So I think I'm okay with it. I think I'm okay with it. I mean, we hit the magic number, we hit zero. This is a great ship. Good luck to her if she, like the Atlanta did historically, encounters other cruisers, but we've given her 12 5-inch guns. She's not going to be completely defenseless. And I will build that design. Uh, give it maximum publicity. Sell us. Yes! Anti-aircraft, say no more. So improved L, uh, light and medium effectiveness, very good. Gradual damage control improvement, very good. I think we just, we'll do this, but I don't think that there's anything which has changed, nothing has changed. I know that people might be, there. it's possible I've overlooked something, but I feel pretty good about what we've built here. So I'm gonna go ahead and these actually, 
well, one will be the class name itself, but we do have some ships which are gonna be put in here. And build, these are the special people. Reinhard von, von Holmgren. And some special people indeed. There we go. Uh, let me mark those names off as finally having been delivered upon. And there we go. So we'll build a few more of those as well. I think that we could deal with six for starters which puts us just about neutral on budget, which basically gives us the opportunity to still build a big ship if we want. And that's what I'll do for this episode. So maybe we advance a couple more turns because I don't feel like we've gone far enough. Um, in our shed, no, we don't need to do that. Silly people, silly things. Boating, um, nah, we don't care. We'll piss off France too. Oh, good. Improved invasion abilities. Let's go take a look and see what that has done for us. Man, everyone's stealing technology for us. We really ought to get better at counterintelligence. Okay, better medium bomber. I mean, I imagine that it's already great then. And we're still developing that dive bomber. We have the medium bomber, which is just the better version. Okay, well, fantastic. Oh, reliability is poor. So maybe we do need another medium bomber then. Because that's not what I wanted to see. And the fighter being poor means that the next thing we are gonna build is absolutely a fighter. Probably that means this one's gonna be taken out of the runnings. I know that it's nice to have more firepower, more maneuverability, but poor reliability is just not something I wanna deal with. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it up to the next wave of fighters. Improved no motor torpedo boats. Okay, we have not used those yet. Don't think that they're very effective, frankly. It's nice to see that the radar is upgrading as well. So we're even slightly better radar. Uh, okay, a lot more Corvettes. And they want us to build another one at 10% uh, discount. We'll take the offer. The name for this ship, I guess that this should be from the list. Oxhoft, there it is. Uh, no, we don't want to do that at all. Increases radar detection chance. Very good. Okay, good. So we'll wrap it up here. I'm pretty happy about the way this series is going. Again, maybe next episode, but very soon at least, I'll be posting a straw poll. Actually, the straw poll might go up on this video. Check for a straw poll in the comment section below about what nation I should play next. I'm strongly leaning towards Japan, but I, I also could... I mean, the other one that I see as a potential real candidate is... Um, actually, I think that, you know, all of them have their merits. Great Britain, obviously, is the one I was I was about to say, because that one was voted for quite a lot. It does take advantage of the carrier stuff, but we might want to wait on the Great British, uh, the Great British, the British series. I guess that is correct, but <laughs> we might want to wait on the British series until some of the more, um, some of the bugs are ironed out, in which case a Japan series might be just fine until, like, the missile technology and all that comes in. I don't know, but I'll let you guys vote as you'd like. And I reserve right to veto and final judgment and all that, you know, fine print. So thanks for watching. And until the next episode, take care.